What's up guys, Admiral Styles here. In today's video I'm featuring the New Orleans class and we're flying the USS Kyushu. A famous New Orleans class vessel we saw, well I don't think we ever saw it on screen but it was definitely mentioned a few times, is the USS Rutledge. That's the ship that Miles O'Brien served on during the Federation Cardassian War. Alright, let's see if we can take on three Cardassian ships. I'm pretty sure we can, it'll just take some careful maneuvering since the shields on this thing probably cannot take a sustained beating, but we'll see. So far we are winning. I just have to make sure I don't get hit by every torpedo. It's a pretty interesting looking model. I don't love it, but I like it. Alright, let's see if we can finish off this galore in this pass. Not quite, but pretty close. Alright, that's over. I'm just looking at the shuttle bays. There's three shuttle bays and at the very center of the aft uh, of the engineering hull, I can't tell what that is. That's some sort of... Hold on, I'm trying not to ram into them. <laughs> that can't possibly be a torpedo bay, so what is that? This right here, what is this? If somebody knows what that is, please let me know. It's gonna bother me not knowing what that is. Alright, we're down to the last Cardassian ship. This should be a breeze. Let's target the shield generator. I think for the next battle, I'll try the... Ah, uh, and there goes that deflector damage. It looks like... Cardboard on fire. Like, it's hard to explain, but I... It bothers me. I think in the future, if I use this model, I'll try to... Uh, not for this video, but in another video. I'll try not to use damage models, because that looks bad. But yeah, the ship is very interesting. It's like it uses miniaturized versions of different parts of a galaxy class. And then you have the addition of modular shuttle bays. Like, is that really what this is? I always thought in the show those were like torpedo tubes or something. Nice, we scored a victory with, I believe, no damage internally. Yep, no damage. Alright, let's talk about the design. In my opinion, this looks like they took the engineering hull of a galaxy class and then they miniaturized a galaxy class saucer and they miniaturized the nacelles of a galaxy class and they slapped all of that together and then attached mini deflectors, I guess? the two things on top and the one at the bottom which double as shuttles, a shuttle base also this is quite an interesting design I'm not sure if that's what it looks like on the show, I'll try to post uh, a picture over this just to see what, uh, what it looked like on the show but it's a pretty interesting design, it's it's not a frigate, it definitely fights like a a small heavy cruiser not a light cruiser, it's not armed like a light cruiser. Light cruiser would be like a centaur, kind of centaur class. 
This is armed like an Excelsior class, but I feel like this is a bit smaller. Definitely an interesting design. I do like it, but like I said earlier, I don't love it. Alright, let's see what battle we do next. I want to try the Ambassador class. That seems to be a really solid benchmark for uh, ship battles. Alright, let's see if we can take on an Ambassador class. I'm definitely going to double some of the shields because, well, we have to. Let's go forward, dorsal, and ventral. That should be enough. And let's go ahead and target their torpedo base. Nice. We scored some hold damage on them. I will be slightly disappointed if we do better than an Excelsior class. But the ship is more maneuverable than the Excelsior class. Alright, let's target their aft torpedoes. We seem to be having an easier time staying behind them and I say that as we get hit by all of their forward torpedoes all right let's switch to their aft torpedoes I don't know why but I just love beating up on an ambassador class it takes hits really well which Makes it a uh, great ship for... I don't know, I just love seeing a ship with like hole breaches all over the place. It looks so cool. Let's target some of the phasers so we can spread the, the hole breaches. Alright, we beat the ambassador class. Decisively too, which is... I was not expecting that. Alright, let's see what ship I face off with next. Alright, let's see how well we do against two Miradorn ships. Wow, they managed to damage our hull, but just a little bit. Probably repaired already. Wow, their weapons are not accurate at all. Oops, that was really close. Alright, that ship is pretty much disabled. The phasers on this thing sound powerful. Wow, they scored a hit on our port and cell pylon. Oh shoot, they took out the port and cell. That's the first time in months, maybe, that I lost a nacelle in a fight. Yep, port nacelle is gone. 
So I guess then the, the pylons for the nacelles in the ship are weak. Very weak. Alright, let's see what final battle I do with this thing. Okay, for the finale, we're gonna do a 1 versus 1 with a Niagara class. That's supposed to be, uh, I guess a battleship of sorts. Or a Dreadnought. I'm not quite sure what the Niagara class is supposed to be. But we're gonna fire on its torpedoes. That's an interesting design. So I guess that would be an ambassador class kit bash. Interesting. And based on its phasers, uh, just the way the arrays look, I'm guessing that one would be for maybe 10 years before the New Orleans class. 10 or 20 years. It's an interesting design. So the Niagara class looks like it has good weapons coverage, but it's not an effective combat ship. So I guess it's more of like a well, it's a cruiser, definitely. At least cruiser. I don't think it's a battleship, but I think it would have an easy time against smaller targets. Like, being swarmed by fighters wouldn't be a problem, because look at all those phasers it has. I'm sure I can fire all of them at once, hitting multiple targets at the same time. Like, I can easily see it be an anti-frigate vessel. Anti-fighter warfare. But I don't see it going up against similarly sized enemy ships. Alright, let's finish them off with photon torpedoes. That's it. We got them. Alright guys, that'll be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Admiral Styles. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Oh yeah, if you have any battle requests, drop it in the comment section. If I have the models, I'll try to do the battle for you. With that said, I'll see you in the next video. Admiral Styles out.